Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another Pokemon Sword and Shield moveset guide for VGC. For those of you who are new to the channel, because I know a lot of people are trying to get into competitive now that Sword and Shield are out, my name is Marcos. I am a competitive VGC player and I enjoy going to local tournaments as well as a few regionals in the Chicagoland area. Well, I mean the local tournaments are in the Chicagoland area, but I made this channel so I could teach people VGC. So if you want to learn more about VGC, be sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a like on this video because I'll be making a lot more moveset guides as well as a few laddering sessions. In fact, I think I might upload my first laddering session on the ranked double battles ladder either today or tomorrow. But uh, for now, here is a viewer requested Pokemon that they want to learn more about in this new metagame. Um, if you guys want a Pokemon, or if you guys want to suggest a Pokemon, go ahead and comment it down below. I'm willing to take any suggestions tonight. I'm going to be taking a look at Phalanx, though. Now, Phalanx is actually a really interesting Pokemon. It gets a really cool signature move in No Retreat. And what No Retreat is, is basically it's an omni-boosting move. It raises your attack, defense, special defense, special attack, and speed in one turn. But you're no longer allowed to switch out Phalanx. So... That is the downside of it. Of course, in VGC, switching is a huge part of the game. You need to make some defensive switches, but as part of a way to uh, sort of buff this Pokemon right off the get-go is uh, its hidden ability is Defiant, which is insane. Its other ability isn't really that great. Um, what was that other hidden ability? Or what was the other ability it had? Um, I have it pulled up right here. The other ability is Battle Armor, which just prevents critical hits, which is kind of cool because you're raising your defenses, but that isn't really what we're looking for here. Defiant is so cool because you don't need to make any switches really unless you're like burnt or if you have just a really bad matchup but uh, if you get intimidated uh, well let me start from the beginning Defiant it works like this if any of your stats get lowered by the opponent you get plus two in your attack so intimidating a Defiant Pokemon will only raise its attack by one stage net uh, if you lower this thing's speed it gets two attack if you lower this thing special defense special attack it gets two attack so switching it on a snarl is absolutely insane because not only do you resist that hit but it benefits you in the end because you're not using that special attack stat you're using your physical attack stat so i absolutely love this pokemon it's such a cool design and it's absolutely adorable but this first move set i have i know that my other couple of move sets didn't really have anything specific calced but this one does have something specific calc. I know that one of the most annoying things in this metagame for Phalanx to deal with is going to be fire types. And the two, or I know there are faster fire types, but two of the most common fast fire types that we're going to see in this metagame are probably going to be Ninetales and Charizard, both of which sit at 100 base speed. Now, Phalanx only has 75 base speed, but we can actually boost this with no retreat. So this first set has an adamant nature to make sure we have as much attack as possible, and we have no retreat to boost all of our stats, Close Combat, Rock Slide, and Poison Jab. Now, I know what you're thinking, Marcos, how are we actually going to, you know, knock out Charizard before it knocks us out? We have really low special defense, and it's going to be able to uh, get that fire move off and knock us out in one hit before we can even get no retreat off. Well, if you have a support Pokemon like Clefairy to redirect attacks or a fake out Pokemon to stop the fire attack from coming out in the first place, we have enough speed in this Phalanx to outspeed base 100 Pokemon after a no retreat. And of course, with max attack and an adamant nature plus one with Rock Slide, we're going to be able to knock out fire types in one hit, especially Charizard and probably Ninetales considering how low of a defense stat that is. But Close Combat is just amazing stab. It's going to lower our defenses, but we won't lower anything else. Uh, you could try Super Power if you wanted to keep your special defense stat, but really, Close Combat is the best bet. Uh, Rock Slide, of course, is for hitting those uh, flying types as well as fire types and ice types. And Poison Jab is a nice way for us to deal with fairies. Uh, you can also go with Iron Head if you want to flinch. I believe this thing is Iron Head. I'm not 100% sure, but it also gets Smart Strike. Um, let me check, actually, real quick. Yeah, it does get Iron Head. I just prefer Poison Jab because... Uh, it hits a bit more, uh, you get a little bit more coverage because you hit both grass types and fairy types. So, uh, where Iron Head, you already hit things like uh, rock types for super effective damage with close combat. So, Poison Jab gets the most bang for your buck. Uh, but yeah, this is a really interesting set, to be honest. Uh, we get the best of both worlds. That 124 HP is going to give us a lot of bulk after our no retreat booster defenses. 252 attack is just amazing because we're able to afford to run it. Four special defense is just what we have to put in there because we have four EVs left over. And 132 speed is enough for those base 100 Pokemon after a plus one. So I, I really like this set. It's I'm really proud of it considering like how how early in the metagame this is. I'm, I really want to use this Pokemon now. I think I'm going to try to use it next to uh, an Intimidator like Arcanine to make sure I live a hit. Or maybe Clefairy Team, who knows. 
Uh, by the way, if you're new to VGC, Eviolite -like Clefairy is a little bit more common than uh, Clefable because Eviolite -like Clefairy has access to Friend Guard, which will lower the uh, damage that its partner Pokemon takes by a quarter. And also, uh, Eviolite -like Clefairy is slightly bulkier. And the next set that I have for you guys is uh, pretty... It's pretty derivative of the first set, but it's more if you want to outspeed everything. This will let you outspeed things like Salazzle, which is, uh, I think, the fastest fire type in this generation. But it's it's just a very derivative set. It's uh, no retreat, substitute, close combat, and poison jab. You could go with protect over substitute, but I think substitute is going to be a little bit better here because uh, we can take full advantage of that bulk and also possibly get a sub off so we can get no retreat the next turn, uh, guaranteeing it so we don't have to deal with outspeeding Pokemon if we decide to fake out them the first turn or if we redirect the move. But it's very simple. It's 4 HP, 252 attack, 252 speed with either a Figgy Berry or Leftovers so we can get some health back after we start tanking hits from those plus one defenses. On top of that, we have the Jolly Nature because honestly, we don't need Adamant Nature at plus one. We're gonna be doing, we're gonna be dealing a lot of damage and with 75 base speed, we're not all that fast. So that Jolly Nature will let us outspeed as much as possible. But yeah, there's not much to go into in this set. It's a lot like the other set I had made, but uh, there's less coverage in the fact that you have no way of hitting flying types or fire types for super, for super effective damage. But yeah, I think this is still going to be a very effective set. Uh, you could probably run it as long as you have some kind of fake out or intimidate support or redirection. But yeah, uh, this final set I have for you guys today is going to be the Choice Band Choice Scarf set. And I know you guys probably think, why don't we just run an Assault Vest on this thing? Personally, I don't think Assault Vest will work all that well. Um, I think you need no retreat for this to function effectively. Uh, but the Choice Band and Choice Scarf set, I think they're still going to be pretty effective. Uh, the first move slot we have here is going to be some way of hitting Psychic type Pokemon. Now, a Choice Band at first impression is really, really interesting uh, because, for one, we're always going to knock out a Psychic type Pokemon pretty much in one hit from the Choice Band boost uh, and the Adamant Nature. But we're not able to switch our moves because uh, we're choiced and first impression only works in the first turn out. It's kind of like fake out. So I personally would go with Throat Chop, but I know first impression is really nice for just having priority on the first turn and getting a surprise KO on a Psychic type that probably thought it was safe staying in on this fighting type with low special defense. So that's just some really cool tech that you could run, uh, but Throat Chop is a bit safer. Uh, our next move is, of course, Stab Close Combat. That's just a nice way of dealing out major damage. I've gone over it so many times in this video already. Stab Close Combat is your best tool on this Pokemon, barring no retreat. Rock Slide, once again, is just to uh, surprise those Pokemon that we're going to outspeed with that Choice Scarf if we decide to go with that set instead. Jolly Choice Scarf should still probably KO uh, a Charizard or probably not a Ninetales, but Charizard will definitely go down. Um... Yeah, you can just surprise it and knock it out with one hit with the rock slide. This thing is more meant to be like, hey, bet you didn't think I was Choice Scarf. Uh, and Poison Jab is again for fairies. Now, the Choice Scarf set is really cool because uh, if you bring this in on an Intimidate or a Snarl, you have the potential to just start dealing major damage and sweeping teams. If you bring it in on something to lower your stats that isn't speed, uh, that Choice Scarf will allow you to outspeed just about everything in the metagame, get rock slides off that will do huge damage and possibly flinch your opponent, and... Honestly, just this is more of an endgame Pokemon. Uh, if you're going with a Choice Scarf set, it's probably an endgame Pokemon. If you're going with a Choice Band set, it's probably a lead because you're going to use that first impression a little bit more effectively. But yeah, uh, honestly, this Pokemon's super cool. Personally, I think that the best partners it has at its disposal are probably going to be those Fake Out and Intimidate Pokemon. Uh, probably not Hitmontop or Scrafty because they share that fairy weakness. So that's that's not all that great. Uh, a Dazzling Gleam from anything would knock out both Scrafty and Phalanx probably in one hit since Scrafty has that times four weakness and Phalanx has that 60 special defense with abysmal HP. Um, but uh, as for Intimidators that probably work well with it, I'd say Arcanine is your best bet. The reason being is Arcanine is able to eat those fairy hits like it's nothing uh, because it's got that fire type to resist it. And you get the Intimidate off to you know, get that, uh, to lower the attack of your opponents and just eat hits a bit better, especially after getting off a, um, a no retreat with probably the original set that I put out. Uh, as for redirect users, I don't know how many we have in this game right now. I know there are a couple of fall me Pokemon that you could run, but, uh, all reliable. If you like Clefairy is definitely your best bet. That friend guard is going to help you out as well because you're going to take less damage on top of your boosted defenses. So yeah, uh, also Icy Wind support is going to be really cool. You could protect turn one and go for Icy Wind and then guarantee yourself to get off an attack or your no retreat. So yeah, uh, this is definitely going to be an endgame Pokemon. I find a lot of 
uh, enjoyment using it on Showdown already. But let me know what you guys think about it in the description, not the description, in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate some feedback. What are some sets you're thinking about running? And did you think any of these sets were particularly interesting or how would you improve on these sets? But yeah, uh, be sure to check out my social media. All that is linked down below. My Twitter, my Twitch, my Discord. Uh, go ahead and join my Discord. We're trying to get as many people as we can in there so we can trade Pokemon, get as many hidden abilities spread around, and get some best of three practice sessions in for PGC. Uh, and also be sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, to the channel because I am trying to get out as many of these videos as I can for you guys and definitely do some high quality stuff. Trust me, not everyone will go through the trouble of making a layout like this. They'll probably just do it in showdown. So I'm kind of proud of myself for that. Thanks for coming out, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a nice night and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.